All right, boys and girls, let's do this. LUI in the house, pause, workout. Workout was absolutely properly uh, saluted. We're gonna talk about Boobander, Rolly Winkler, because the video is pretty much about him, but let's talk about a, uh, a fellow gym uh, goer that goes to the same gym as uh, Rolly Winkler, uh, namely Big Grammy. Now, of course, do not get it twisted. Okay, we're talking first of all about Ronnie Coleman, one of the best backs ever, right? Uh, versus, uh, uh, Big Ramy. Now, Big Ramy is not game on. Now, this is more than seven weeks out. Seven weeks and four days, more or less. Now, of course, we do not expect a definition resembling that of Ronnie Coleman, right? But on game day, will he ever? I'm sure he will not do it the, this year. I, I gotta be honest, because this is like the big, bad, old muscle, right? Like mature muscle that somebody built usually more than 15 years uh, at the gym. And it was the case of, of, of Rooney Coleman, right? I mean, he matured in his late 30s and his early 40s, right? Uh, Big Ramy is training right now. I think he's lifting since like seven years or so, seven years and a half more or less. And it's for real, right? Uh, but one day, one day, I hope that, that he will bring uh, a maturity resembling this. Now, he is bigger pound for pound than uh, Ronnie Coleman, of course, bigger by the same token that Dorian Yates. That's 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 known fact, right? His back is larger than their back. I think it's larger for sure. It's larger than Dorian Yates. He was not uh, able to train in his machine, the famous pullover Nautilus apparatus. He was not able to get into it. He was bigger. He was too large for it, right? Uh, Ronnie is bigger than Dorian from the back. But I genuinely believe that Big Grammy is even bigger. But when it comes to the quality muscle, like big bad muscle, he just does not have it. I'm sorry, boys and girls. I love Big Grammy, but I have him placed fourth this year. That's all I can put. That's all I can put, right, for, for the back. Now, granted, the Christmas tree is better than last year. But still not there yet. He's not out of the oven. I, I, you know, I cannot be a, I cannot be a fanboy. I just cannot be a fanboy. I go, but how I feel about it. So I give him four max this year. That, 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 unless somebody messes up, unless Sean Rodden comes in bloated or he's injured, unless Dexter basically get hit by a car and whatnot, right? Talking about the downstairs section, the glutes, the glutes of Ronnie Coleman are the best ever in Mr. Olympia stage. Nobody brought uh, glutes like this, right? Now, Phil Heath has very good glutes. Uh, Kai Green, they're amazing. But Ronnie Coleman is a different level. This dude was doing front lunges, baby, please, around his gym in Texas with three plates on each side, going very, very deep. Plus, you guys know the guy, he does some, you know, uh, some splits, so the downstairs section is very, very stretch well. I mean, his stretching is, is up to par, second to none. If you have a good stretching, uh, your range of motion is absolutely properly saluted. Do this like doing yoga while lifting body, uh, lifting weight. Believe me, it optimizes not only the growth, but the range of motion that you target your glutes. Some guys never get their glutes uh, basically activated because their stretching down there is not loyal. Uh, there is, I forget the name of that small muscle up front. If you don't have a stretched wall, it will never, uh, actually the hip flexor, the hip flexor. If your hip flexor is too tight, good luck working th those glutes. So that's it, Big Granny, he needs to f find some magic to have some good stretching downstairs, right? It's it's coming in, I mean, even the, 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 the calves are a little bit better, but I'm sorry, he is not, out of the oven as of yet. Talking about out of the oven, I'll bypass all the posts and go straight up to this recent picture of freaking Boo Bunder. Now, boys and girls, ladies and gents, you are looking at that big, bad, old muscle. Muscle maturity, grainy fibers. It's just his, his anabolic. There's no more room to grow. Very saturated. He's not a tall guy, but he stands to everybody. When he does that, the freaking most muscular crap pose, he is smoking everybody. I'm expecting the judges of the IFBP Pro 
Pro League this year to put him next to uh, Mr. Olympia Phil Heath. I want them to do a most muscular pose and I have my money on freaking Bo Bander. Bo Bander is meaning business this year. I will not be surprised that he will even beat Big Ramy. Right? I have him like at six uh, this year or five, but he might be number four or even more. He was doing battle versus Dexter Jackson. And a lot of people said that he was better than Dexter Jackson in the New York Pro in the finals. And I agree with them, right? With all due respect to Dexter Jack. But that's what's up. This guy is coming uh, strong. If you guys can temple or entertain an idea in your, in your hard drive of muscle maturity at Mr. Olympia this year, Boobander is the guy to look at. He is very saturated. And better know, this guy does not work with some known gurus in a sense. Does not do business with freaking George Farah, Henny Rembard, Chris Asito, or uh, Dennis James, or this and that. This guy trains with some youngsters there, right, who are not known as of yet. His trainer is Ahmed Askar, and he is bringing uh, the goods. Bubble gut, not even once. I mean, I was the guy actually who was busting his balls, this guy. I, I mean, I was really tough on him two or three years ago. He was doing an interview and he was basically roaming Independence Day all day and every day uh, down there in Las Vegas. But he brought it. He sent me a message. You guys remember like uh, a few weeks ago, he told me, bro, uh, thank you for your criticism. I took it well. I'm taking care of my bubble gut. You know, he's down to earth and is absolutely uh, to be uh, saluted. And I'm going to show you his cousin because you guys will be absolutely properly. Look. Happy birthday, cousin, Miss Henry Kess. Absolutely loyal. Do not try, bro, because he will look at you like this. <laughs> Absolutely proper. This is his daughter, I think, right? Look at the daughter of, uh, of Rolly Winkler. Absolutely uh, gorgeous. Absolutely looking uh, like him. And that's what's up, guys. Uh, Bubander is, uh, you know, one of my favorite guys this year. Mo arguably the most improved I mean, where can you add freaking muscle he is saturated can he even wash his freaking neck he has traps over traps he's absolutely grown everywhere i mean the angle between his i mean he cannot close his arm uh, properly more than freaking 60 degrees baby please absolutely to be saluted uh he deserves a lot of respect and this year he would get all kinds of, of promotions. Everybody would be running after this guy. I thought he was finished in 2013. He looked depressed in that freaking, uh, you know, uh, a pumping iron or generation iron uh, movie. Right now he's doing business with this guy, Ahmed Askar, unknown to nobody, but he brought the best of him. Absolutely uh, to be saluted before letting you go. Let's take a look at some funny stuff. This is Mr. Prapa. Properly uh, saluted. Talking about properly uh, executed, we have a gentleman here. Guys, we're not making fun of these guys. I mean, we're not making fun, but you know, it happens at the gym. It's kind of a new phenomenon. Everybody has his iPhone recording. Of course, he's not doing it uh, properly. Granted, it might seem funny. Personally, if I was at the gym, being older than this guy, and I'll say I've lived since years, I wouldn't mind going to him and tell him, bro, you're doing it wrong. In my opinion, this guy is a beginner. And he will not take it bad. In my reckoning, he will absolutely not take it bad. He was just, he's just not doing it uh, good. So it depends on, on the circumstance. In that, in that instance, I will absolutely go ahead and tell him what's up. This is me at the gym today. Gains are still not loyal, but nonetheless, there are a lot of oil. The TTs, baby, please. Don't get it twisted. It's not you, Lee TTs. This is Louis TTs. Haha, uh, baby, please. And that's what time it is. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, somebody doing it absolutely wrong. This guy, I will not cor correct. This guy, personally, I will not correct. I, 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 I just don't have a feeling to go towards him and tell him, bro, you're doing it wrong. You know why? Because I don't even have a clue what he's doing, this guy. I will not go to him. Will you go? I don't know. Right? I will not go. Properly, not absolutely saluted. Uh, in Africa, things happen. Okay, do it, brother. 
properly not executed. Do it. It's all rusty. Be careful. You have Titanus, bro. Titanos. Uh. <laughs> bro, do you even? What? Do you even Congo, bro? Absolutely uh, not uh, to be saluted. My car is to be saluted. A lot of you guys ask me, bro, will you keep it? God knows. I swear to God, I want. Uh, I wanted to upgrade it so many times, but the only car I would buy in, instead of it is the new M2, which is like 30 uh, horsepower more. Uh, the thing is, the suspension is so rough, you cannot adjust it, and I will take a hit. I will lose so much dough on this car. It is brand new. I bought it since a few months, so I think it would be uncalled for. It would be sick for me to upgrade it uh, already. I still love it. As long as I don't drive the M2, which is admittedly better, I don't know how better it is, so I don't want to try it because if I try it, I'll always have that crazy feeling to upgrade it. I, I drove the M3, the new M3, and thank God I didn't like it. The M3 is just too big. I didn't like it. I didn't have the connection with it. Not nimble, not saluted. Salute you whatever you is on a nightly basis, baby, please. And that's what time it is, bruh.